Hello there, welcome to a new video by me, or a new series by me. Uh, in this series we'll build a re events web of a Rust web API using Actix as a web framework and Diesel as the ORM, the object relational mapping framework. For this uh, I'm going the unusual way of not using a Visual Studio Code but trying it out in Rust Rover the new IDE by JetBrains. If you still want to use Visual Studio Code, you can still do that. Basically, both IDEs provide more or less the same functionality at this moment. Um, let's start. Let's start with the prerequisites. Because you need some things before you can start. And one of the things is a working Rust environment. Uh, instructions on how to set it up you will find in the description. You need to have Postgres installed, um, either locally, which I prefer, or on a remote machine. Make sure you have access to it and you have the permission to create databases, tables and such. Then of course, as I was talking about it, uh, you need an IDE, like Visual Studio Code or uh, Rust Rover. And what is very handy is to have pg-admin installed, which is uh, an admin tool for Postgres. It, well, you don't have to learn all the complicated, well complicated, all the specific Postgres commands, for, for instance, for listing tables and things like that. And last but not least, uh, once we get testing on the web app itself, Postman is a very, very handy tool. But links to those you can find in the description. The series will consist of, of several uh, videos. The first one is setting up, that is setting up the Rust project and uh, setting up um, uh, the crates we need. The second part is the database, uh, diesel, setting up the migration, setting up the different classes you need. The third part is setting up the web server. The fourth part is a, might be a very short one. It's setting up auto-migration, because if you want to deploy to a, a Kubernetes the environment, you might need that, or you will need that, in fact. And I'm thinking about the last one, which is deploying it to Kubernetes locally, and perhaps, if I feel like it, we'll do a video on deploying it to an Azure Kubernetes cluster. But that's for them. Let's get started. If you're not using Rust Rover, make sure you are in an empty directory like I am here. And just type in cargo new events API. It didn't take too long. And once you've done that, you can enter that the directory because Cargo creates a new directory for you. And you can say, for instance, code dot. And you can make sure you trust the authors. That's that. That's not the way I'm going to go. And I'm saying close project. I'm going to build a new project. As I'm as you see I'm using Rust 1.72.1, which is the latest version as of filming this video. And events Rust tutorial. Just a binary application. You say create make no cargo projects found and we'll see make sure the Microsoft Defender is um, is uh, updated we don't want Kubernetes always add and then we can start running this it won't do that much hello world how nice Next, we need to install the diesel CLI, and that is something you do by cargo install. 
diesel CLI we don't need default features and we need the feature well it's already installed normally it takes a bit longer than that Next, we need to install the actix because that's what we're going to use for our web API. We need to install Serdi or Serde to make sure we can serialize and deserialize JSON. Sorry. Of course we need to add diesel. I'm using the miss minus F we need to install the progress feature. R2 D2 is your connection pooler. So we don't have to make new connections all the time, which is good for performance. We need the chrono and the your ID features. And if you scroll up, it goes quite fast here. We see UID and R2D2 being installed. We need .env to make sure um, that we can read environment files. And they are OK. We want to log later on, but it's nicer to Add it now. We need to add R2D2 on its own. We need to add the UUID with version 4. We need to add Chrono. And we need to add the diesel migration. Also with the focus feature installed. Now we build. And it will take a while. As you can see, it needs to download and compile almost 200 crates fortunately on this computer that goes quite quickly let's have a sip of drink we're almost there remember that I do this beforehand to make sure that we don't have too long compiles times later on in this series. 176. It's compiling diesel now, that is quite a big crate. And there we are, just in over one minute. And to prove that they've really been added, let's have a look at the cargo.toml file. And you can see here, everything is done by the latest versions. So, that's it for this uh, video. In the next video, we'll set up the database.